So I went to Tuesday morning and it was really kind of disappointing. I mean, they had the paper pads, they had all the usual stuff, but there really wasn't anything that struck my fancy. So they, this whimsical fun paper pad was, I think it's new, but they had a lot of um, paper pads that they're just kind of restocking. I mean, that This Is Family is very, very pretty, but it looks extremely similar to uh, some of the latest collections from Jen Hatfield, so nothing exciting there. I do love the Again and Again paper pad, but I have had a lot of the single sheets and some of the ephemera, so I wasn't grabbing onto that. As always, they have all of these really great books. Now, now new to the store, they did get some of these collection kits by Echo Park. And I mean, that one right there is beautiful. So if you're looking for some summer collections, they were awesome. They did a really nice job with them. That's why I was looking through. I've, um, yeah, I was looking through and, and they're mostly like, you know, $5.99, $6.99 range. So great value, something to definitely look at. I was just thumbing my way through. They have Fashionista back. So that's been there a few different times. It seems to uh, be a big seller for them. So they bring it back in. Patio Party there again, Chamel Sparkle City. I know a lot of people are trying to collect Chamel's stuff. So if so, go ahead. Happy Camper is new to the store. I don't know what year that came in, but it is absolutely adorable. So Lots of the collection kits, but alas, I am trying to be extremely cautious about what paper I bring into my space. I've been doing a lot of de-stashing, and so it's it's difficult for me to uh, reconcile with bringing in while I'm trying to push out. Stargazer and six by eight, and that are that's the uh, Chamel journaling pad. More Chamel for chipboard. I had that once upon a time from a kit club, so did not need to bring that in. That Summer Dreams collection has absolutely beautiful colors, so grab that. And that Summer Fun collection, I created with that in the last couple months and really, really enjoyed it. There's really nice, bold, saturated colors in it. That Halloween die cuts pack was Pretty intriguing. If I had little ones, I would have picked that up and done some projects with them. It was super cute. Some nice Amy Tangerine stuff and the here and there that keeps coming back over and over again. So fun collections, fun pads, just nothing I needed. Now this section of my store has these massive sticker books. I just thought I would pan out. You can go ahead and stop the screen if you want to see a little better, but nothing new there. Some fun little Carpe Diem stuff. Um, and I mean, we really didn't get much new for Ephemera. I was looking around. Those, that circus set I think was new, but nothing else right there. It's, I, I was really surprised. I thought we'd get a lot more of the embellishment stuff in, but we didn't. And I was also super hoping to um, see if they were getting any more of the Jane Davenport stuff in, and they didn't. So either I was late to the party last week when I was able to pick up just a few things, or my store really just did not get them in. There was a lot of these mink products. I don't know a whole lot about the mink. I don't own one, and I, I really haven't researched it, but if you are somebody that collects those kind of products, get in there. This I thought was super intriguing for um, die cutting. Really nice, big, chunky uh, chunky font. And they also had it in a really small one. So that was interesting. Some of the storyline stuff, but I mean like two of that one that you saw right there. So that's a smaller version of the uh, dies. There were these leafy ones, which is great for card making. But really, I mean, no big amount of anything. I've been told that uh, to expect that there won't be a huge amount coming into the stores for quite a while. They're just emptying stuff from one warehouse that they did shut down. And what we get is kind of a trickle effect coming in. So who knows? I They're also, my whole store is being kind of reconfigured, like the craft stuff's in a different aisle and all of that. So... Maybe they are getting ready for a big push. I was also told that they wouldn't be getting in a whole lot. Oh, those are the jelly bean soup stamps and dyes, by the way. That they wouldn't be getting in a whole lot in 
um, terms of theme products like Thanksgiving, Halloween, fall, and my store had a ton up front. So being told things and then seeing different things. So what do I know? We just have to, to see what our stores get and be happy when they do get something nice and affordable. So jelly bean soup stuff, if you are a stamper, those were quite a bargain. There was dyes with stamps and really cute um, designs and all of that kind of stuff. I was trying to show you everything my store had and for $3.99, you seriously cannot beat that stuff. So there's, see the butterfly ones and the extra little pieces and all of that. So if you do like your die cutting and, and I mean, especially for card makers, you can do them over and over again. And I thought they were very sweet for that kind of thing. I really liked that one. You know, it said different things like treat yourself, thanks a latte, but it was more of a teacup and not so much of a coffee cup for me. So I had to pass, but I was really seriously looking at that one just because I thought it had a lot of um, sentiments that would work for me. So this is where I'm looking going, please say there's something new and there really wasn't. We have some more of the Amy Tan stuff in. That is um, some of the crepe paper goodies, but you know, Maggie Holmes stuff, but nope, just some repeat little little things brought in there. Sorry, Ooh, that was moving a little quick. So those are the embossed puffies, both by Maggie Holmes and Amy Tan. My store is always really, really good for the Bow Bunny products, but um, you know, it's it doesn't fit my style as strongly, but I've seen some beautiful things come out of that. You know, individual papers especially, I really like from Bow Bunny. So no new no new um, punches. I always look because I can use me some simple shape and punches, and I get very excited about them. So this was nice. I saw one light box by uh, Heidi Swap in a tropical feel. That was kind of cool. And they, we still have um, these different planners and stuff by Heidi Swap. I was trying to get in there so you could see it. And oh, these are these like crochet kits and they're a super good price. I thought those would be really great gifts if you know somebody that likes crochet and you like and they like it like as an all in one kind of thing. So really cute, a really big crochet hook and uh, little kits. So that was like, I guess the biggest new thing that we had in my craft department, but I thought they were really cool. You saw also to the left right there that they had these really giant skeins of yarn that were in multiple colors and super usable. They, this was, they had a couple sets. This is the art of creative lettering for $9.99. And I looked and I mean, the supplies on the back were worth it. If you just look at the art supplies alone, hopefully they're good quality, but definitely were worth it if you're looking at giving some crafty gifts. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments, leave them below.